Good morning. Happy Wednesday, everybody. I have been on a forced fast for the, um, the past few days. But I want to talk to you today about believing what God shows you. A lot of times when God shows us things that we don't want to see, we attribute it to the devil. I know I have in the past when it was something unfavorable or something that I didn't want, I would immediately start rebuking the enemy. Get thee behind me, Satan. But God was showing me those things to prepare me, not to panic me. So even when it's unfavorable, the Bible says that warning comes before destruction. So when he shows you something, believe him. When you hear those, um, get those feelings, when Holy Spirit is, is unctioning you about something, believe it. Believe it. When my daughter got pregnant early on, I knew it because I dreamed it. God showed me everything the child was going to go through before she even went through it. And I remember crying out to one of my good friends. And we, both of us just cried on the phone and prayed together because I knew what was coming. Not concerning the pregnancy, but different things in her life. So we prayed about it. And I, and I continue to pray until this day for my child. But here's the thing. When God showed me my daughter was pregnant, I asked my spouse. I asked him. I, I Well, let me put it this. Well, yeah, I did ask. I told him the dream. And then I asked because she and I, you know, don't have a relationship right now. And that's her choice. And I respect that. I'm not going to force anybody to do anything that they don't want to do. And God's timing. When it's his timing, his will, things will come back to where they should be. So I asked my spouse during this time, and he kept, he, he denied it, denied it, denied it. So my question is, what kind of person does, if, if, if I can't trust you on something like that, a big issue like that, for you to deny something like that to me, and even though I knew it because I kept dreaming it, I kept having consecutive dreams about it. And I even, I think I journaled a couple of times about it. I'm like, this child is pregnant. She's pregnant. So my, my point is this. It, it wasn't something that I didn't want to see. It was something that I knew. And the fact that I brought it to my spouse who knew he, I knew in the, in the spiritual, he knew in the natural, but decided to keep that information away from me. How can you trust somebody like that? You can't. Because if you withhold something like that, something that big, I don't know you. And I never knew you. So today, the revelation that God gave me today, I'm like, God, I cannot... <laughs> I cannot, then I cannot, I will, well, I can, but I won't. I will not deny or ignore what the Lord shows me anymore. I remember 20, is, was it 22 years? Yeah, 22 years ago. I kept having dreams about my then best friend. I was pregnant with my daughter and I just kept having dreams. Now, she and I hadn't talked in a few years, I don't know how many years, but I just kept dreaming about her, just kept dreaming about her. And, and one of the dreams, as clear as day, God showed me her pregnant at the same time as I was. But because we weren't speaking at the time, I didn't reach out to her. So I, I was talking to a family member one day and she told me, oh, I ran into... Um, that friend of yours and that girl pregnant. She asked me for your number, but I didn't give it to her. I said, why didn't you give her my number? She was evil then and she evil now. 
talking about the person who wouldn't give the girl my number. So I knew she was pregnant. The whole, you know, I just kept, just kept dreaming it and seeing it and feeling it. I knew, I knew she was. So we kind of missed out on going through our pregnancies together because of f foolishness on both our parts, you know, uh, uh, some kind of out. I don't even remember why we fell out, but God brought us back together when our daughters were like three or four months old. So I know how he deals with me. I know how he, he deals with me. And in the past, I would talk, I would allow people to talk me out of what I had been shown and what I had been told. Oh, God wouldn't do, God wouldn't show you that. God wouldn't tell you that. Because it wasn't something that, that was, look at here. God shows us things to prepare us, like I said before. So I can count the times on maybe one hand when it's always been, okay, um, I remember uh, years ago, God told me that my husband was going to be promoted X amount of times. And he was in that year. So, but most of the dreams and vision, visions that I have, is they are warnings. They are things to prepare me. Things that, are, you know, prepare me for what's to come. Like with my son, he and I, you know, kids are kids. They're going to be who they are. They're going to do what they do. You just have to let them be. So when he left home, he got it in his mind that he, you know, he didn't want to speak to us anymore. He's going to go off and live his best life. But God showed me that he was going to have to come home. So the whole year before he contacted me, Asking if he can come, God was preparing me for that. So I knew that he was coming, but because of the because of the relationship, I had my heart had to be prepared to receive him. So because God showed me and I had spent that year preparing emotionally, you know, to to mend the the, the friend, you know, the the our bond and fix what was broken and things like that so when god brought him home i was ready to receive him so i just want to say do not discount the dreams and visions that god show you do not discount them because when he's speaking to you you cannot shake it it's, it's something that resonates in your spirit it's something that gets a hold of you and will not let you go. So when I woke up this morning and I shared the dream that I had, my mind is set. My heart is fixed. <laughs> there is no going back, you know, with, from that with me. So it is what it is. It is what it is. So I cannot share it at this moment, maybe in you know, at a later date, God will, uh, you know, open the door for me to share it. And maybe not because I tend to overshare it at times. So maybe he will, maybe he won't. But when you get a God given dream or vision, you'll know, you'll know, you'll know when it's out of your, your flesh and you will know when it's God. So I just pray that you are, you know, I pray that you are, God, what's the word I'm looking for? More receptive to the spirit. I pray that your discernment kicks in even greater so that, you know, God says, my sheep know my voice. And another day, so we, when you know his voice, you know it's him. Don't, don't let anybody talk you out of what you know is God. If I hadn't uh, allowed people to talk me out of things that I knew in the past, I'd have been somewhere a long time ago. I would have, pro not probably, I would have been where I was supposed to be on my journey, in my ministry, in different phases of my life. 
I would have been where I was supposed to be years ago. But because I did not trust God more than I trust the people that I was running to, trying to get their interpretation, what they thought it meant, when I knew what it meant, when I knew what the dreams and visions meant. So I just pray that you all listen to the still, small voice. When you start, now there's nothing wrong with wise counsel. You One thing that the enemy is good at is deception. He knows how to use the word of God. He used it in the temptation of Christ. So the devil will use the word of God to try to deceive and trick you. That's why it's so important to have a genuine, authentic relationship with the Lord so you will learn his voice and know his voice and therefore you will not fall into deception or the temptation of the enemy. And you won't allow your flesh to speak to you and confuse that for God. So, yeah, that's my little, my little chat for today. Just listen. Listen to the still, small voice of God. When he speaks to you, don't doubt it. Don't try and don't discount it. That was my issue years ago. God told me years ago what to do. And I did not do it because I was a list. I had too many different voices in my ears that thought they knew better than God. And I trusted them more than I trusted the God in me. So I did not move on what God told me to move on at that time. So please listen to what God says. Even when it's uncomfortable, even when it seems unfavorable, because we know one thing, all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and are the called according to his purpose. So even though it may not look good right now, even though it may, that thing may be painful that he's showing you is to protect, prepare you and protect you. So take it as their preparation and protection. God bless you. I got to get out in these streets and run a few errands today, but I'm going to come back and do a, a um, try on of my Gucci um, Hollywood Forever sunglasses. But God bless you. Have a wonderful day.